What's up, everybody? My name is Braxity, and, uh, you know, I was browsing the internet yesterday, and I was in search of a mad nostalgia trip, right? Like, I wanted to just... I wanted to get some nostalgia. So I was thinking back to old programs that I like to use. And one program back in the day was called Kane and Abel, and that let you pull IPs on people that were playing with consoles. Or at least that's one thing out of the many that you could do with it. Trust me, it's way more than that. That's just what a lot of people use this program for. And so I was browsing, and now the website that Cain and Abel originally was able... <laughs> Able. The website that it originally came from was called oxid.it, and so I tried to I tried to type that into my search bar, you know? I typed it in and I went over to oxid.it, and then, yeah, I don't know, the website's down. I don't know what happened, maybe they just got lazy and stopped paying for it because it wasn't being updated or something, I have no idea. Maybe the government broke into their house because they let millions of kids pull IPs and DDoS each other, like, on the internet. Maybe they went on a suicide mission to France, where they were finding the developer of some rivaling application, and in turn just destroyed their website completely. I don't know, I'm just making shit up, but like, this application was like, you know, part of my childhood. I used to pull IPs with it online, and I was kind of sad to see this website go downhill. I was like, oh no, like what happened? And all I found was this Reddit article. It was just like this dude, he was like, yeah, I don't know what happened to Oxid. And nobody does. Believe me, I've been checking a lot of places, and it's like, damn. But anyway, if you want to know how to get this app in 2020, just head over to the link in my description. It uses a website called the Wayback Machine, which basically just takes a snippet of the website before it was deleted, and like every update that the website has, and you can download it from there. So it's straight from the source. It's not like some stupid bug that you're going to get from some dude online that has a clean download for Kane and Abel. But yeah, if you want to play around with this program a little bit, I mean, it's pretty cool. You could actually pull passwords with it. All you do is just let it run, and then periodically check the uh, passwords. They're in like MD5 hashes. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And to go a little bit more in depth, you know, this app is primed for man in the middle attacks, MITM attacks. And what that basically is, is like Wireshark could be used for, how you could see all the internet traffic with Wireshark. With Kane and Abel, it lets you see all the internet traffic too, just like that, except you can isolate it to the IP addresses that you want. Also, it could automatically pull passwords whenever you're poisoning. That's pretty cool. It's just more like a hacker version of Wireshark. It's not even really in the same field as Wireshark, but kinda. So like for visualization purposes, you know that game you used to play in middle school called Telephone where it'd be like a line of people and each person would say something. It would try, they'd try to make it the same thing. They'd say it to the next person and the next person and the next person. It's just like one by one. Think of it like that. Think the first person and the last person and then the, like the router. Okay, so the router is the first person. The computer is the last person. Basically, you're just the dude in the middle listening to all the stuff that the computer is saying to the router. You could do that for whichever computer you want on the network. That's basically what Kane and Abel is. But a lot of little kids used to just, <laughs> me included, used to just go online and pull people's IPs. Because, you know, console players, as long as they were other little kids, they didn't have, like, a computer that you could access and do all this stuff. But it was, like, super easy. You could just pull people's IPs and just, like, hit them off for, like, five minutes. That was hilarious. That was on Xbox 360. Man, I remember that. Halo Reach. Borderlands 1 and 2. Oh my god. Oh, I remember when Minecraft Xbox 360 edition first launched and it was like beta 1.6. Oh my god. There was no hunger bar? What? Sorry, I'm getting a little bit off topic here. I don't know, I guess that's the point of a commentary video. But yeah, anyway guys, if you have any leads on what actually happened to Oxid.it, drop that in the comment below because I, ha I have no clue what happened. All I know is this thing looks like a barcode and like someone should try to scan it. <laughs> but anyways guys, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, drop that comment, let me know what you guys think happened to Oxid, and yeah, peace. Peace.